You've exercises with two groups on two yellow cones. First player to play the ball steps onto the cone, first player to receive steps onto the cone. Pass the ball across, travel to the far post, deliver the ball into the player to score a goal, and you just keep rotating in groups. Off you go, play. Good. couple of important points here. It's very rare in a futsal game that you would have an unopposed goal, but I just want you to be comfortable with the fact there's nobody in the goal. As you set yourselves up, the player who's going to work, stand on the cone, the other three move yourselves back, the same on that side, just so we know who's passing the ball. Now, just stand out to one side if you can and watch. As the ball comes into me, pass the ball in, I want to stop the ball there, dead, roll it, ready to make the pass. Come back again. You've done exactly the right thing that I want you to do, so let's just go through it again. Once you pass the ball, you need to get to that far post as quick as you can there, and that's my strike for a delivery. The two red cones, you need to make sure that you pass between the far goal post and the two red marker cones. Off you go. The ball that comes across court needs to be a firm pass and the player is making sure that he gets that positive pass. The yellow cone is an imaginary defender, we're just using it as a marker, so I want to be passing on the, effectively away from the defender there. Once I've played that crisp pass, then I pull away with that shoulder and my run is an arced run in towards the far post, so I'm looking to arrive about here. I'm not looking to arrive there, I'm looking to arrive past the far post. As the ball comes in again, you want to sandwich the ball with the sole of the foot there, between the sole and the floor. Roll the foot over, that's set up now, that's the delivery pass there to the far post. Yep, there you go. Good, better. That's it, finish, move yourself across, next pair. Okay, just hold it there. Remember again, it's only the first player who steps up, just stand out to one side. Now I'm going to move the player on this side on. As the ball comes onto me, make the pass there, there's my touch, roll it into your stride, pass the ball and now follow in towards the far post. In case the goalkeeper gets a rebound, then you recover around the outside to join that group. Off you go. Now, get the balance right. The pass that gets driven in is aiming towards that far red cone. If it's too close to the post, the goalkeeper will recover and be able to secure the ball. That's why the two markers are there, as an indication that if you, the further out that you can drive that ball from the goalkeeper, it will stop the goalkeeper from coming out and collecting the ball. Play. Yes. Nothing wrong with the pass. As the ball comes into me, yep, good, off you go. Now I've got to look and I've got to get the ball delivered so that the player gets there at the same time. All you've got to concentrate on is getting there as quick as you can. I will make sure the ball gets there. There, there. Pass, okay, and he will get there every single time. All you need to do is make sure you deliver in that zone. Play. Good. Follow in. Make sure you follow in from this side. Play and follow in. Too slow. Goalkeeper will have that. Doesn't count. You must follow in. Get ready to go. Good. There's the touch. There's the pass. There's the play. Already in the stride. And I'm already entering the D, ready to get the follow-up and the second ball. Play and follow. Play. Play and follow in. Follow in. Follow in. Follow in. Good boy. Well done. The ideal pass is that the player who's attacking the far post, when he's in his stride pattern, he's literally putting his outside foot forward and he's not having to turn his body to pass there because the pass is behind. 
So the player should be looking to get that delivery and that touch in their stride pattern rather than adjusting their run. Are you ready? Play. Follow in, follow in. Great delivery. Run was too slow, follow in was too late. Try and add the bits together next time. Play. Follow in, follow in. Don't need to lift it, keep it on the ground. Good. So when we add, add the jigsaw together, a crisp pass immediately after followed by a rapid run. Quality of first touch to get the ball out of your body, deliver to the ball in and follow in as well. Off you go. Only needs a little touch at the far post. No, okay, now that's, that will get cut out by a defender because it's too weak. So, now what I want you to try and do is this. Bring yourself out. Can this player now add on to the exercise by taking the ball one step further on? Play the ball to me. There's my touch, off you go. You're there, there's my touch there. And I'm following in, so I'm already in my stride pattern, one, pattern once again. Nice crisp pass. There, there, and follow in that way. So you've already taken the first step towards the ball, then you make the delivery, and you carry your momentum forward. Your momentum keeps you going in towards the goal. Once you've controlled the ball there, and got it out of your feet, now I'm looking up to see when the player's arriving, so I can play the ball in front of him. Your timing on that side has to be such that your last five metres is the increase the rapid increase in tempo. So you've increased it to there, the last little bit goes in tandem with the delivery that goes in. Up your step, Luke. Play. Follow through, follow through. Good, well done. Follow through. Ro roll the ball across into your stride pattern. Take it into your stride pattern, good, and follow through. All well done, better.